Hello and what is up everyone. For today's video, I'll share some martial arts manwas with an overpowered or smart main character. Let's start off with an already completed manwa. For the first one, we have Tong. Having lived as a fighting legend in Busan, he wanted to live peacefully in Seoul. However, we all know that wasn't how Li Yunwu lived. Showing off immense skills in the fight against the best fighters in the school. Li Yunwu takes over the area in no time at all. After that, the gangs nearby never leave Li Yunwu alone. Although he is really strong, since Li Yunwu did not wish to being harmed to those not involved, he starts changing the way he lives. Let's both find out what exactly was Li Yunwu trying to protect through all that violence. Although the art of this manhwa is not that great, the action is really good and satisfying. For the second one on the list, we have History of Three States. This story is when the world was rampant. This is the time when many rival heroes divide and occupy landslides with their cleverness, and they want to defeat all the others. Among those heroes, there was the greatest commander no one can deny. His name is Yeopo Bongxian. The history recorded and labeled him as a dim-witted moron, a lascivious man who preyed on the wives of his subordinates and an immoral person. Even though he is the strongest military general, he often was underestimated because he got defeated at the last battle. This story is about the most powerful hero who will defeat the whole world. For the third recommendation, we have True Martial World. The story starts when the human emperor and his opponents embroiled in a 33-day-long final battle where it involved the strongest experts. After destroying the abyssal world and sealing the abyssal demon king's godly weapon, a mysterious purple card disappeared into the space-time vortex and tunneled through infinite space-time. In the vast wilderness where martial arts was still slowly growing in its infancy, several peerless masters tried to find their path in the world of martial arts. A young adult, named Yi Yun from Modern Earth, had unwittingly stumbled into such a world and began that journey with a purple card of unknown origin. It's a magnificent, yet unknown true martial art world. This is the story of a normal young adult, turning into a legendary peerless expert. For the fourth manhwa on the list, we have Becoming a God by Teaching Six Sisters. This is the story of Yi Lu and his six sisters, where the eldest sister is at the top of the battlefield, a dominating force. The second sister's cultivation is outstanding, a generation of divine emperor. The third sister has countless divine beasts, the head of a family. The fourth sister is the one who can bring back the dead, the one who has the best hands. Fifth sister is a formation through the sky that no one dares to mess with. And for his sixth little sister, she is the daughter of the head of the villain, also to be entrusted for life. And then there is our main character, who have been ridiculed by the whole sect because of his poor martial arts skills. This manhwa is one of the better martial arts manhwa that I could find that might be worth reading, so try it out for yourself. For the fifth recommendation, we have All Attribute Martial Arts. In his previous life, Wang Teng had offended dignitaries and caused his own family to be ruined. Even if he had no desire to resist, he was driven to extinction. After his death, Wang Teng was reborn into the world of martial arts with resentment and gained a golden finger that could pick up attributes. He was a nobody and a loser in his last life, and so, surely he will try his best to live a better life in his second life. Although this manhwa is fairly new and only have just few chapters, it has potential to be great, and I like reading it so far. For the sixth manhwa here on our list, we have Heavenly Martial God. He was the matchless Ha Hu Young, the greatest martial artist training over all the lands. There is no one that is his equal. But, he was drowning in futility and emptiness, because there was no more that he could accomplish in the human realm. And so he thought of something, and that is to reach the peak of martial arts, he must become a saint. After many years of trying he finally succeeded, but the other saints refused his ascension due to his karma after much slaughter, and so he fell, just like that. When he woke up, he was 60 years in the future. He was reborn as the second lord of the Namgung family. Although he has a great and loving family, he doesn't like his new body, because he have the 9 yin energy blockage that made martial arts hard for him. I really like the main character of this manhwa, he is pretty smart and really strong. And also, 
the art and plot is great. For the seventh here on the list, we have the strongest body refiner in history. In the nine mystic realms, martial arts rules and the strongest are the only one respected. And to honor the world's strongest, there is a list, which is called the heavenly list. And the number one on the list, the one who has achieved greatness, the one that can rival the immortals and the gods, and stand against the heavens, the top of the heavenly list. Yi Kangxuan. But, after a thousand tribulation, he fails and dies. He is reincarnated 2000 years later and learned that his sect is now in poor state. This man was is your everyday cultivation man Hua with same arrogant people courting death and our all-knowing main character. But overall, it's not bad and actually likable. For the eighth recommendation, we have Peerless Dad. No Gajang has led the life of a warrior ever since he has remembered. Isolated from the world and illiterate to top it off, he meets a beautiful woman who steals his heart. Marrying her and living a life of bliss, she gets pregnant. Against all odds, she unexpectedly dies during childbirth, leaving No alone with their newborn triplets. Desperate, saddened, but not broken, No swears to the heavens that he'll become an exemplary man to raise the invaluable treasures his wife left him. Watch the mighty warrior No become a peerless dad and slowly realize just how powerful he is for the sake of his children. This man was so wholesome, I almost cry sometimes on how wholesome this is, honestly this is one of my favorite man was because of the great characters, especially the main character. For the ninth man was on the list, we have. The first sort of earth. This is the story of Wang Sheng that lived two lives. In his previous life, he started late in the opportunity of the great changes in the world. He has been mixed up to more than 30. He is alone and unlucky. He has become the cannon fodder for the battle between the two immortal black society forces. But, when he woke up with his eyes open, he found that he was back on the eve of the great change of the world. Although he came back to the past he didn't celebrate at all, because for him, everything has just begun. And for the last man we're here on the list, we have. Everlasting Dragon Emperor. After being betrayed by the people he once loved. Lu Ming experienced the cold reality of the cultivation world. However, as chance would have it, he obtained the inheritance of a supreme expert who once suffered the same fate as him. Henceforth, the world shall tremble at the birth of the everlasting dragon emperor, whose legends will resound through eternity. I kind of like the pacing of this manhwa actually, although, some of you might not like it since it's pretty fast, but, I'm an impatient person, so if you are like me, you'll like it. That is all the recommendation I have for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I recommended a new manhwa for you to read. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. Also, comment down below on what I should do next. And again, my name is Rio Shi, hoping that you have a great day.